When I first encountered the wild huntresses, it was the harm of their claws and the obscene aspect of their steeds that foremost afflicted my soul. Thanks be I can see neither in my mind's eye any longer, but the huntress's otherworldly singing still echoes through my dreams. It is a sound at the same time both terrifying and wondrous, possessed of an ethereal beauty that is eclipsed only by its perversity. The more I try to banish it from my thoughts, the more hungrily my mind yearns for its blasphemous harmonies. From the Liber Malefique. The Seekers of Slanesh, known also as the Riders of Slanesh, Disciples of Decadence, or Darkling Delighters, are the Prince of Chaos's Outriders, Darkling Demonettes, mounted on swift demonic steeds. Malign of intent, and with the predatory swiftness of a striking cobra, seekers dart across the endless battlefields of the realm of chaos, springing ambushes on vulnerable prey. These demonic huntresses are swift beyond belief. Some legends say that the seekers can charm time itself, and so travel between the seconds. Other tales claim that the Seeker's steeds are formed from the guilty desires of all living creatures, and so can never be outrun. Wherever the truth lies, to become the quarry of the Seekers of Slanesh is to doom oneself to an inevitable, torment-filled death. The steeds of Slanesh can taste the winds of magic and seek out the spirits of mortals just as a natural creature senses odors on a drifting breeze. Each soul has a unique flavor, and after but a single taste, the steed can follow that one specific being throughout eternity if it wishes. The riders find this most useful, for like all demonettes, the seekers are playfully cruel. They delight in running a luckless mortal ragged, pursuing him across leagues and leagues of rugged and broken countryside. Then, when all seems lost, the seekers break off their pursuit, allowing the prey to regather his failing strength and rekindle a waning hope of escape. Such hunts can continue for months or even years, with the seekers goading the mortal to the very edge of mental and physical endurance. Only when the quarry's mind collapses and he willingly succumbs to their embrace do the seekers end the hunt and drag his soul back to the realm of chaos. With his surrender, the mortal robs the seekers of their entertainment, but damns himself to an eternity of exquisite torment in the palace of pleasure's loathsome chambers. And the Seeker Chariots of Slanesh. Seeker Chariots, also known as Shrieking Chandradans, Glorious Doom Riders, or Pallid Vanguards, are fast-moving demonic engines of Slanesh. As the straining steed urged the chariot to full speed, swirling shapes stir the air with unholy hues, and the metal axles screech in a disharmony akin to the wailing of tormented souls. Indeed, to stand against such a machine is not simply a contest of arms, but a struggle of wills that shakes the boundaries of sanity. When the chariot finally crashes home, the demonettes dance from yoke to spa, laughing as their disemboweling strikes weave bloody trails in the air. 
heralds of Slanesh, often elect to ride into battle atop an exalted chariot. From here, the herald can reach down to whisk victims from the chariot's razored maw. Such is not an act of kindness. Indeed, enemies claim in this manner soon start screaming to be returned to the embrace of the merciless blades below, if it means they will remain not a moment longer in the grasp of the doting herald's cruel affections. Next, the demons known as the Decadent Reavers.